we are a nation of fast food addicts. Australia's growing addiction to fast food. I love McDonald's. I just eat the nuggets and that from Macca's. As the nation's obesity levels increase, Australians are eating record amounts of takeaway food, worth almost $40 billion a year. It's an addiction Australians upsize every year. The fast food industry is notorious for being considered unhealthy. Many documentaries such as Super Size Me have highlighted the detrimental effects fast food has had on people's health. This, combined with an overall change in perception of food and dining, has resulted in many companies trying to rebrand themselves to appear healthy and more upscale. The shift is in the language. Oporto, KFC and Hungry Jacks have all changed the way that they brand themselves, but the biggest change is here at McDonald's. How has I'm Loving It changed to be something very un-McDonald's? Let me show you what I can do. Bagels and donuts. Round food for every mood. <laughs> this simple quip on the hit American TV show Friends has exemplified the relationship between advertising and the fast food industry. Maddock and Hill's 2015 article in the British Food Journal highlights the strong connotations between emotions and food. We subconsciously link food to our inner selves, our emotions and our ideas of life, society and family. These ideas and notions are exploited by advertising companies to establish meaning in consumers' lives. So what does language have to do with fast food? Well, fast food corporations constantly utilise sensory language, symbolism and literary techniques to appeal to people's emotions. This language also highlights a general shift and change in perception of what food and dining means to people and their lives. As the world began to become more globalised and society's incomes began to rise through the 1970s and 80s, many more people had access to fast food and dining. The increase of intake of fast food began to rise in the 1980s and 90s with McDonald's receiving over 43 million visits worldwide daily. However, research into the nutritional value of fast food began to arise in the 1980s, with many health experts finding the innutritious value of fast food on people's health, with obesity, diabetes and cholesterol becoming major causes of death in many Western countries as a direct result of access to these foods. The 1990s also saw a change in the way governments dealt with these issues Television advertising plays a crucial part in food choices that people make. More exposure to advertising results in an increase of consumption, regardless of nutritional value. Governments have legislated to regulate the advertising industry to ensure that exposure to unhealthy food and advertising is limited, especially around children. There have been suggestions of industry regulation and self-regulation, as well as the industry determining what is healthy and unhealthy themselves. Advertising does play a major role in getting millions of Australians into McDonald's restaurants just like this. Food, as enticing as all of this is, is not the only aspect, but it's the language used in advertising that plays on people's emotions and notions of food and dining. Super Size Me changed the way people perceived McDonald's, and McDonald's Corporation had to redefine themselves in the following years. So let's have a look at the McDonald's advertising from before Super Size Me in the 1990s to now in the 2010s. 10 advertisements were analysed for their use of language techniques. They have been drawn from two major advertising campaigns produced for the McDonald's Corporation in Australia. Five were from the campaign It's Mac Time, produced from 1990 to 1992, and its subsequent variants It's Mac Time Now and It's Mac Time Again. This campaign was chosen as it was the last advertising campaign run by McDonald's before the introduction of the Broadcasting Act of 1992. These advertisements were chosen for their usage of language and their availability to the public on the internet. The other five were from the campaign How Very Un McDonald's, produced from 2014 to 2016. The campaign was chosen as it was the first major advertising campaign after the rebranding of the McDonald's restaurants 
and the introduction of the Create Your Taste menu in Australia. These five were chosen from the McDonald's YouTube channel as being the most recent advertisements as of May 2016. The 1990s advertising campaign used by McDonald's Australia was entitled It's Mac Time. The metaphors used in the 1990s tell a story of glamour and indulgence, appealing to notions of fast food in society at the time. The late 1980s and early 1990s were highlighted by the idea of consumerism and power through money. Income was rising and many people wanted to feel like they were part of this new upper middle class of people. Fun, fit, with money to spend. This is highlighted in the use of language of metaphors in McDonald's advertising. For example, the use of the metaphor, it's what everyone around the world keeps singing, it's Mac time, highlights that Mac time, or McDonald's, is on everyone's mind, and it's what everyone is talking about. This suggests by participating in dining at McDonald's, a person becomes part of something that unifies the world, and something that is part of the human experience. In metaphoric language used in morning, noon and night, it's Mac time now alright. And it's a good time, great taste. They're saying that the time for McDonald's is all the time. And eating at McDonald's is good and delicious. We can see that McDonald's is marketing themselves as something that is part of the everyday life and that by eating McDonald's, people become more upbeat and feel fulfilled. The imperative language in It's been a long time without it, you need time out with the friends commands the consumers to come to McDonald's. They highlight emotional appeals, drawing on people's desire to relax and relating fun and happy times with McDonald's food. It's been a long day without it the metaphor of the legends live on claims that McDonald's food is legendary and historic and suggests that McDonald's food has become part of contemporary human history and by associating with and eating at McDonald's you too become part of that history. The final ad draws on familiar appeals Highlighting how McDonald's has become part of something out of the ordinary and exclusively for special occasions. Come on, we're late. Mum's never late. As highlighted by these advertisements, McDonald's used metaphors in the 1990s to highlight their global image and being part of millions of people's lives every single day. This highlights the idea of hyperconsumerism and status over health. Big Mac, anyone? We love. Like beach How very un McDonald's is the slogan used between 2014 and 2016. The language used in 2010's advertising campaign highlights a shift in the way people view McDonald's and fast food, focusing on more fresh, localized ingredients. The use of specific food types in the first advertisement, such as gourmet decisions, succulent chicken breasts, ciabatta, and mozzarella indicates a new level of dining at McDonald's, one that perpetuates individual choice and suggests that McDonald's knows their ingredients and knows that they're good. The pun, worth the wait, worthy of a waiter, playing on the idea that food at McDonald's is now worth more time and money, also suggests that their food is more upscale and more like traditional dine-in restaurants. The metaphor of, is a bit of a foodie, complemented with ideas of choice and decision in design this beauty and ingredients that he chose, say that people who eat at McDonald's are highly knowledgeable and understand what food is all about. This suggests that the food serve is even one that food critics find delicious and is worth the time going to and trying. The your taste, how very McDonald's. In the symbolic language of, there's one more thing Martin never dreamt of he'd see at McDonald's himself. And there's one more thing Martin never dreamt he'd see at McDonald's himself. McDonald's is playing on the idea of himself, saying that people can find themselves eating here and they can also find themselves, their personality, here too. 
McDonald's acknowledges that they have had a negative perception in the public and they are correcting that with their new worth the weight food. They suggest that now consumers can create their own food, put their personality, feelings and emotions in their food and that they create it themselves at McDonald's. In this advertisement, the complimentary images using the pun new growing up ingredients, playing on the words grown up meaning adult like and grown up meaning mature, sensible and practical, also draw on familial emotions. McDonald's has been part of growing up and now as an adult, you too can find yourself at McDonald's because the ingredients are still suitable and they are good and nutritious for you and your family. The final advertisement continues this metaphoric idea that McDonald's is something different, which is highlighted through imagery of the chip, indicating that McDonald's is now worth more than you pay. They are suggesting that McDonald's has changed and customers fully acknowledge this change. Something made him forget where he was tonight. The advertisements in the 2010s directly contrast from the 1990s. McDonald's shakes off the image that they built and changed to something that is healthier and more of scale but still being fashionable. Create your taste, anyone? In comparing these two eras of McDonald's advertising, we can see that there is a stark contrast in the way McDonald's brand themselves. They are appealing to societal notions of each time era, using language techniques to draw on people's emotions and ideas. Through their continued metaphoric ideas in their campaigns of It's Mac Time and How Very Un McDonald's, we can see that the shift that McDonald's is taking in the 1990s, McDonald's purely focused on the brand and the idea of a globalized, multinational company catering to millions of people around the world. However, in the 2010s, they redefined themselves, shaking off this globalized image and localizing themselves in Australia. On a day-to-day -day basis, they have to feel, we're McDonald's Australia. This draws on postmodern notions that having choice and having access to healthy food is good and people are considered privileged and upper middle class, as opposed to the money to spend attitudes of the 1980s and 1990s. As a result of new government legislation in the 1990s and 2000s, McDonald's has also refocused its ideas on nutrition and health, emphasizing ideas of individual choice in food options and promoting gourmet healthier food to shake off their bad reputation of being unhealthy. The McDonald's Corporation has changed into something that they are really not. Through their specific language choices in their advertisements, they have changed the way thousands of Australians see this multi-million dollar corporation. Despite all of these changes, their menu has remained relatively consistent over the past 40 years. Still remains in nutritious now and will continue to remain in nutritious in the future. Despite all of this, 1.2 million Australians flock to its restaurants every single day.